And I'm here to do your daily guidance, your daily spiritual message, your daily reflection on this beautiful Friday or whenever this video has found you, my love. That is when this message is meant for you. Okay, so I know that I tell you guys this all the time, but I really want to really love on you. Can I give you a hug? Let's just hug. Oh, <laughs> I really want to love on you. That wasn't enough. Let me do it again. Oh my God. I love you guys. I am just so utterly proud of the beautiful soul that is watching this video. Okay. Listen, I need you to understand where your life is headed. My love. Ooh, 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 ooh. Where your life is, ooh, 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 <laughs> is truly somewhere beautiful, okay? Right now, what you are experiencing, right now, what you are doing, thinking, being, feeling, it matters. It truly, truly matters. You matter. The actions you decide to take matters. And for a this particular group that I'm channeling for on this beautiful Friday or whenever you see this message, baby, you've been listening to your intuition. No matter how hard it's been, you've been like, <laughs> you know, dancing, dancing. You know, I was going to say with your dreams, but dancing with fear. And you have stopped running from fear. And I feel like you have turned around and you have faced a lot of things. You have looked at a lot of things. You've been really going internal, addressing some things. And the message that spirit really wants me to deliver to you today is that everything that you have visioned in your mind and your heart is very real. It's yours and it's attainable. I feel like you're starting to see that things that you only quote unquote dreamed of are very tangible. It's very real, you know? So um, I, I just really want to love on you and commend you for all of the self-love that you have poured into yourself. All of you realizing your worth coming out of situations that didn't value you, didn't appreciate you, baby. <laughs> Be it in love, people, family, um, you know, work, career, like you, you know, you're really doing that. And most importantly, <laughs> my God, Whew. thank you for accepting all of you, even the parts that everyone don't clap for. You really love you like on a whole nother scale, like you really embracing like, uh, -uh this is who I am. And that really takes courage in this time and space in this day and age <laughs> where we are when we are told to be anybody but us you can be anybody baby but just not you you know and, and and that mindset you are going against the grain and you are saying i choose to be me and whatever that being is and that is so beautiful and most importantly that is really what unconditional love is and you are giving that to yourself so baby you expect it to be shown in your life, in your reality, okay? And the reason why I, I really just want to appreciate you and really love on you and just really thank you, you know, for showing up for yourself, you know, for being there, for putting the focus on you, your life, and your dreams, no matter how freaking hard it is, you are making a conscious decision to do that. Because if don't nobody know how hard it is to show up in this world as yourself, and be you, Tori, 
truly understands that and truly understands how much fucking courage that takes to really be you at your core. And I'm just so honored to be the person to be able to be on this journey with you, to experience your um, energy, to like witness your change, to witness you heal yourself, to witness you rise, to witness you run after your dreams, to witness you conquer that shit and to witness you fly. It is such an honor, you know, such an honor. So continue to show up for yourself, continue to be you. And I don't care what it looked like to anybody else. We ain't worried about that. You got to show up and be you. You the main, you are the main star of your life. You know, (laughs) I literally had, you know, someone tell me like, I don't know why people feel the need, you know, um, to, you know, express when something makes them uncomfortable instead of just like clicking out a video. I don't really know what that's about. Out. but um so I was like I'm, I'm subscribing because you use profanity and that is just that I'm like okay you know uh <laughs> what would you like me to say like this is who I am and um sometimes you know some shit come out my mouth like that's just what it is some days I am just not cursing some days I am cursing some days I'm truly like just on cloud nine you get what I'm saying and then some days I'm not but in either of those days baby like I am vibing with myself I can't show up for like anybody else but Tori you get what I'm saying And that's another thing that I just really want to extend to my soul family. That's the thing. It's called a soul family. You feel me? Like (laughs) if anybody come in your life and you're being you and they just don't agree with it, they don't like it. You send them love and light. But baby, you don't stop being you. You don't stop doing what you're doing simply because somebody doesn't like it. You know, so I really want to elaborate on that and really let my love muffins know my soul family, my soul tribe, like be you, boo. Okay, be you and whatever that being is and whatever is meant for you to evolve from, then eventually you will. But at this time and point, honey, I like to cuss and more. I love the F word. Fuck, because it opens your throat chakra. You know, I don't care if people say that's unladylike. I don't care because I wear a sheer shirt and I like to show my boobs and I'm very I like to Look at my body and I like to share my body with the world and have other people (laughs) look at it. I don't care if people define that as being like unladylike or being like a whore or a thought. Or some days I like because there's this dress, you know, I might insert it for you guys. Oh my God, it's like this old lady, cute mom's vintage dress has been like stalking me and I'm gonna get it because you know it's fall and I just can't wait to rock it and style it. I'm gonna do a whole photo shoot to this dress. I think I'm gonna insert it right here. (laughs) Y'all see it, ain't it cute in like, like, like 19, you know, one of them eras, 1920s or that, that, that too late, 1960s, one of them things, I don't know, 70s, I don't really know, but it's just giving me, yes, hot mom. About to go bake some, you know, cookies and then give it to my husband. Like that's what it's giving me, and that's what I'm, and that's why I'm buying it. But you know, no matter what I am doing, no matter what I am wearing, you know, um, I am going to be me. I'm comfortable within myself, and I'm sharing this story with my love muffin so you can be comfortable and you and understand. You know, people are going to say what they say and allow them to have their opinion. But your opinion is just an opinion unless I make it more and I am aware of my power. So I'm not going to make it more. And that's simply all you have to do, my love muffins, when you are living your life and somebody else doesn't agree with it. You don't have to you don't have to feed it. You don't got to shoot them daggers. You don't got to give them a whole in sentence sentence about what they did sometimes you do it and it's all right but like I have removed petty from my life I have no reason to be petty within my life I don't know why we going here but anyways I just felt guided to share that experience with my loves (laughs) okay so my loves what this beautiful journey that you are on okay and these amazing doors that you are unlocking in your life okay 
love within yourself, love within your life, love within your career, love within your finances, love within a partner. Believe me, every day that you make a conscious decision to love yourself, to know your worth and to accept who you are, those are the doors that you are walking through. Those are the paths that you are, are that you are on and that you are trundling on, walking on, okay? To to whatever you define that as, whatever whatever is beautiful in those areas to you. You need to know when you do those those three categories every day, mentally, spiritually, physically, you are really you you're you're gutting for everything great in life. <laughs> All right. I need you to know that. So one of the things is this morning, what I was doing with my um guides, um, you know, I really wanted to like go in and, you know, just see, because I feel like sometimes like, like I, <laughs> I can say things and I didn't even realize, like sometimes I just channel without even like, I just channel period. And sometimes I'm wondering, like, is it coming from me or is it coming from my guy? So sometimes I like to, like, check in and I'm just like, OK, you know, I'll ask a particular question. You know, I'll go in receptive mode um, and, you know, I'll ask a particular question. And one of the things that I wanted to ask my guides, um, you know, today was, you know, like, how do you really change your life like you want it? Like, like, you know, when you like, you really want it to be, or, you know, or it's really destined to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how does true change really happen? Okay. (laughs) I wanted to see, you know, what my guides would tell me. And, um, I know, you know what? Don't kill Tori. This is a Sagittarius in me always being ahead of step of myself. Sometimes just jumping out there. Usually, um, (laughs) when I channel, I can remember bits and pieces, but for the most part, I usually like to record myself or sometimes even with a channel message, I have to like go over, you know, like I, I usually, I usually record myself when I'm channeling, you know, um, you know, Ooh, I'm so, no, no, why, but listen, somebody like, bro, like when you really go down this rabbit hole of like really, you know, embracing your spiritual gifts. Like one of the things that was so super cool, like with one of the things I first channeled, I channeled Mary Magdalene, you know what I'm saying? Like that's some real shit, you know, <laughs> like that's some real stuff, you know? Um, and just really like Oshon and just like when you really channel these beautiful people or, you know, like your guides and like to be in a place where you allow them to come up that thing like that, um, I want to say like Abraham Hicks does, you know, Esther does with Abraham. That's like a real thing. I know like it's a real thing, but like, it's nothing like really like when you really do the thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, so sometimes I forget to record myself. Yeah. Because, you know, I tried like that. Oh, I'm gonna take notes after like that just don't ever work. Cause it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's, I'm, I'm still getting like a lot used to it. So but anyways, this one thing, it looked like I recorded and it, you know, it um stuck with me with asking, like, how does true change happen in your life, guys? So if, if you are desiring to change anything in your life, OK, and right now in this very moment, there is a lot of changes, OK, going on within your life. So I, I really want to just give you some encouragement. And guess what? What's crazy is <laughs> we'll get there. So I asked, you know, um. How does true change happen? And my guides told me that change happens when you believe, okay? Change happens when you switch your perspective and the way you look at things. Change happens when you're not afraid to be bold. True change happens when you listen to your internal guidance, guidance system, like your intuition, you know, the Holy Spirit within you, you know, your spirit, when you really trust yourself. And, you know, before I could, you know, me in the midst of my, I'm like, what is that? It's really that simple. Um, and that what really stuck out to me is true change happens when you believe. 
It literally happens like that, guys. And this is why it's so important, like for in order for change to happen, to really trust yourself, to really trust what you're hearing in your heart, what you're hearing in your mind, what you're hearing deep within your soul to really trust you and to really vibe with you. And the only way to truly trust you is to really love you and know your worth and accept who you are and where you are in your life. You know, that is how you truly will bring change, call change into your life. And whoever is watching this video, this is what you're doing. So prepare yourself for the beautiful change that is happening in your life. And maybe sometimes we stumble, sometimes we wobble and we get out of alignment, you know, and that was the way that we were thinking. But baby, it is never too late. Simply believing, you know what? I am back in alignment. You know what? I will do what is best for me. Believing that, feeling that. What does that feel like to do what's best for you? What emotions does, does that evoke um, from your heart, from your soul? How does it feel to like really be bold with your life? Does it feel exciting? Does it feel liberating? Does it make you feel warm and goosey inside? Does it bring you butterflies? Like, what does that feel like? When you truly believe in something, what does it feel like? Okay. Yeah, so that is what my spirit guides gave me, <laughs> you know? So anytime that you're desiring to change something in your life, simply trust the guidance that you're being given, believe the guidance that you are, be willing to change your perspective. I know you've always done it this way, but you're asking for this. So it's going to require you to do that. You know, that's how you bring change. And I was like, damn, like it's so simple. Cause at one point in time, like you didn't thought these answers it within yourself. So that just shows me that you're never really disconnected from source, you're never really disconnected from the divine. It's just about what you choose to listen to when these things are being filtered through you. Okay. So my loves, <laughs> you know, um, my, my guide said, it's really that simple. You really have the answers, but it's just about you trusting what comes up. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to see um, on the bottom of these decks, I shuffled them. This is the overall energy of today, okay? And then we're going to just see what guidance the spirit have for us, okay? And what's crazy, I didn't even look at these bottom, so we, this is going to be real new to both, all of us. <laughs> I said both of us. So what I want to start with is what, as far as self-love, what's the overall energy today when it comes to self-love, okay? Mm-hmm. Clarity, boo. When you clear, it's nothing like being clear in life. It's nothing about having a, having a clear path, knowing what you got to do, getting organized. Like when you know what it is, when you have a made up mind, when you know, when you have clarity, you know which way to move. And so clarity truly creates change in your life. And with self-love, get clear about what it is that you want for your life is what I'm hearing in this moment. Marinate, marinate on that on the, this weekend, all right? Because you're manifesting and manifesting is simply bringing great shit into your life. And it says clarity. Let, let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. Now you realize it said, let me trust my deepest, okay? I always mess this word up. It's like my dyslexia really kicks in with this word, <laughs> okay? Instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. It didn't say go outside of yourself. It didn't say Google something because, you know, and I, hey, I'm guilty of that too, <laughs> but go within, go within, Okay? When matters are unclear, trust your intuition. Clarity is merely your intuition. Clarity is merely, merely your holy intuition, baby. Always guides the way. That's the first thing that your self is wanting you to know. And that's a part of self-love is really trusting, trusting yourself. Really, you know, moving with you being, you know, that's how you're in sync with yourself. And what is that going to bring is going to bring enjoyment into your life. Striving and pushing makes life into endless, 
endless hard work. The more you're inviting love to take over, stop forcing something, just going with the flow, listening to your intuition, okay? The more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. All right? Now, what's the overall energy of today? We're going to take these. Oh, my God. Yo, look at this. Oh, my God. Look what we got. We got the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles. We got the wheel of fortune. And we got the eight of pentacles. And the ace of wands. This is the overall energy of today. Sorry, guys. Let me get organized. Okay, I hope that's better. But this is the overall energy of today. And the first card that we've seen was the Three of Pentacles. And this is truly, I feel like this is you in spirit working together. You, your intuition working together. You know, and, and you know, honestly, to truly create change or bring about the change that you know is best for you and your life is going to require you most importantly. And when I say that, I mean that like not outside influences, inside influences. You get what I'm saying? You know, you can come out and share whatever it is that you're working on, you know, or I'll always say that it begins with you. Okay. There will be a time, you know, that you, you, you come out of this triangle, <laughs> you know, you come out of this and, you know, share and, um, really, you know, share whatever you're working on or, or share your heart or share your love or share your time, share your effort. But what I'm seeing right now with this three of pentacles is all about, you know, working on, you know, working on something, you know, but I, I'm really feeling like. This, whatever you're creating, it's, it's going to take just you spirit, you know, congregate, congregating with your guides, you know, con congregating with the spirit realm, going within. This is how you bring about change. Okay. For whatever reason, like these people outside of this beautiful triangle experience is like sticking out to me. Okay. You know, in these grapes, maybe you've been trying to, you know, get the fruit or get whatever you define as abundance or happiness or joy. You've been looking for it outside of yourself and among people or situations that could be in work. That could be whatever. But I really feel like going back in and listening to your internal guidance system, your intuition is how you're going to create. Bring about what you want. Three is the number of creation. Also, for me, you know, three is the number of Jesus and also of the divine trinity. <laughs> okay. And anytime I go to create something major in my life, I always seek spiritual counsel. You know, I, I always go that way. So I really feel like this is what you're going to be indulging in today. And some, you know, some point realizing that, you know, um, you know, really going within. Okay. And, and, and I feel like for someone, I'm just hearing like what you're creating is beautiful. Don't let outside, um, influences tell you different or, you know, make, make you see what outside influences put the value on what you're creating. Okay. But yeah, I just feel like this is a number creating. You're creating something the the things that you are doing in this moment, the thoughts that you are thinking, baby. Like you like on a, you know what, you got some clarity and, and you're able to see some things. You had an epiphany, you know, <laughs> like, you know, like those moments or something has shooken you up, you know, to, to make, you know, to make your eyes, um, you know, open or just the fact that you just want to be happy, you know? And I, of course, kid you not, for some, for happiness, quote unquote, for people to say happiness does not exist. You know, everybody be trying to find it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And that's the thing. You're realizing that happiness comes from within. 
Happy and happiness is something that you create by the changes and the things that you do within your life. And this is how this wheel is, is turning, baby. And I love, I love this wheel, the wheel of fortune, okay? It's different worlds. You got a world of prosperity with honey and coins and flying. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Listen, this will is turning and whatever it is that you desire is what it'll fall. And I also like this because I feel like this is the dark moment of the soul. This is when this is the tower moments that probably nobody likes to talk about. <laughs> you know, them lessons that we learn. Listen, it's all about you. Whatever change you want to see in your life, whatever you want to experience, you create it. That's what spirit is saying. That's what it boils down to. Whatever you want to experience, you create it. Okay. Now that you have this clarity, we have the eight of pentacles. You see this person working hard, you know, she looks like she's an operator, but she's damn good at her job, you know? <laughs> okay. I want to read the meaning of this because this deck this tarot deck has different meanings. I want to read the, the Eight of Pentacles really quick. It's very short. Look at us. We are already turned. I magically turned to the Pentacles. Ooh, here we go. So with this card, it says, working right along. You are handling business, baby. Good work. She didn't say baby, but I did. <laughs> it says, the great, things, uh, the great thing about this card is that it is less laboratorial than other than others in the pentacle suit you are hard on the grind but happy as a calm you see what i'm saying when you are listening to your intuition when you are creating whatever it is that you want to create within your life there is a different kind of happy there's a diff there is baby like if you're just working a job that you don't really like versus a job that you do, there's a difference. You show up different. You're ready to go. You're passionate about the job. You're passionate about the people. You care. And this is why I'm just so thankful that I get to wake up every single day and do something that I love. You know, and sometimes I always have to remind myself, you know, and just really find the gratitude and really be thankful so thankful for all of the beautiful souls that contact me, that reach out me, that reach out to me, that want to work with me, that let me know what this means to them. I'm so utterly thankful for you making space for me in your heart, for you allowing me in the places and in your secrets that you don't want nobody else in. <laughs> you know, but you trust me. That is such an honor, and I am so thankful for that. So, so thankful. And it's very real that you can wake up every day and be passionate and be thankful and be happy to go to work. Passionate. Not feel like you're sacrificing. Oh my God. I just, oh my God. Here's the, hey, I don't even worry, hurry up for the weekend. I don't even, I don't even like the days be like running in with me. Honest to goodness. <laughs> every day is a weekend. The only thing is I get to see you on the weekend. I get to see my godson. Like, that's how I know, because I have to plan it. I know we got to play Fortnite. We got to go to the pool. We got to do something, you know, excellent, you know, so he can be hyped for school that whole week and know that on the weekend we're doing something banging. <laughs> you know, that's how I know that. But you've been working. Happy as a calm. What is it that makes these, um, I always mess this word up. And what is it, adverbs? Not, not adverbs. <laughs> endeavors that word okay so effortless remember your current structure for times when workloads increase so figuring out what makes you happy is going to bring about change okay figuring out what makes you happy will bring change the change that truly just sets you on fire Oh, it's so much passion. This is how you create a new beginning in your life. This is how you go about this new beginning. This Ace of Wands is a new beginning. New candlestick, a new light. All right. 
I want to read their definition. I just like how they, not like the traditional tarot deck. They just, it's kind of like a terrible oracle deck. I love it. <laughs> you know, we know that it knows it is all about a new beginning here. Look at it. I just found it. It says, ooh, what is it? that makes us snap into action. And that's the thing about the, you know, the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning, but it's a new beginning out of nowhere. You get what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, a, it's a fast one. And it says, those ideas and creative inklings that inspire us to make, move, and learn. The Ace of Wands is the brilliant light bulb that turns on in our mind. We may not know where it comes from, but we know we must pursue it. And like I said, some of you are being given a great beginning. Yeah, you don't know all the details. You don't know what it comes from, but it feels good. Go by your feelings. Allow your emotions to lead you. And I know we're taught not to do that. But that's truly the way. If you don't like what you're feeling, change what you're focusing on, switch the perspective. Maybe it's time to, that's how you know what needs to go and what needs to stay by how you feel. Feelings is what brings clarity. Okay. Sorry if you just heard my stomach growl. <laughs> Ooh, it says we may not know where it comes from, but we know we must pursue it. There is an ultimate faith. All right. In this glimpsing in this gleaming flame faith, baby. Requires you just to jump and leap. OK, is what I'm literally hearing from spirits. So let's just see. How do you truly leap? <laughs> you know, how do you truly tap into your emotions trust your path if you knew you if you knew you would be supported what would you do if you knew you would be supported if you knew you could not fail if you knew the divine was standing right there behind you what would you do on the side of you what would you do and you're being guided to share your voice come out of the cave okay I think it's what it's precision, per perception and expression, like express yourself, tap into that. Look at you glistening, you know, you really desire to be over there. Nothing's stopping you, but you, you can swim in this ocean. Yeah. You don't know what, what is about it, but you just going to stay in the end of this cave and just rot away. Or are you going to fucking take your chances? Either way, you're going to rot away. I'd rather run away enjoying myself, <laughs> you know, pursuing my dreams, <laughs> you know, really coming into this energy. The warrior woman is what it's going to take for you to climb whatever you define as an ocean. It says, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? This is a question to really keep at the forefront of your mind. If you were not afraid, my love, what would you do? Okay. And understand that fear is truly just a mirror. Who or what is triggering you? When you get triggered, when you get scared, when you run from your dreams, when you run from situations, when you run from relationships, when you run from opportunities, when you run from a new beginning, it's because a part of you truly wants to really go for everything, but it's going to require you to be unafraid. It's going to require you to break up with fear. And it's going to require you to trust the nigel. What is the nigeling feeling trying to tell you? See how this woman is gripping her stomach and down here you see that light and the intu intuition with the soul. Look how you're connected. Your soul, your intuition, your heart, spirit, the divine, God. Trust yourself. You know what's best for you. Go ahead and break the chains. Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. Look at that. You see how like before coming out the cave, it's dark. This person's like dark, then you dark, dark. Then you get lighter until you just like out here in the color on the edge about to jump free. That's what's happening right now. True change is taking place. Brace yourself. That's what I'm hearing. 
for my spirit guy right now. True change is taking place. Brace yourself. Yeah. True change is taking place. Brace yourself. Yeah. Freedom, baby. True freedom. That's the change that you're embarking on. All the things that you're doing. All those difficult decisions that you're making. All those times that you're deciding to listen to yourself, your intuition, you know, to put on to put on your brave, you know, your armor, you know, to do what you're afraid of doing, to break the change, to come out of what's the, what, what has always been the norm to you. You are on the path of freedom right now. Okay. Yeah, because look, I wanted to make sure because communication came. I want to make sure I wasn't holding the deck wrong. Deck wrong. We have communication and but it's it is it is reversed. I feel like there's something that you need to communicate. You need to use your voice. All right. Maybe you need to be honest with yourself, what it is that you want with your life. And if you have already done that, it's time for you to communicate what it is that you want. And look where it's leading you to love. For some of you, this is a physical relationship. For some of you, it's just because, you know, this is like everything that you love. Yeah, a re partnership in, in your finances, <laughs> within yourself, <laughs> you know. A part of freedom is expressing yourself wholly. Kind of like what I said, you know, when they were like, oh, my God, you're kissing too much. Like, I uh, listen, boo, this me. Okay, listen, don't never let nothing move you. And I always remember, I will never forget when I started guided intuition i put a call out okay i was about to say pacific but you know i'd be messing that word up <laughs> pacific specific oh my god whatever that word is okay i put a particular call out and i said lord bring me the hearts like me bring me the souls that need mending okay that's what i said baby that's what i put out there so if you don't resonate with that if you don't desire to heal men, to truly evolve into who you are at your core, to really be unashamed of the person that you are, really live in your truth, really triumph over some shit in life, really arise like the phoenix, really come up from the underdog and realize you are the dog, the bad bitch, no muzzle. Listen, then listen, it's okay. We weren't meant for each other. It's okay, babes. <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's okay. That's the call that I put in guided intuition. That is the ground that guided, which is guided, what guided intuition is built upon. Guided intuition is a place of love and healing. You understand me? That means we not in here settling and we not have ass and we are making a conscious decision to go after everything that is of our highest good. We want to experience everything at its highest when it comes to life. You feel me? And you're on that path. So keep going. Keep going is what I am hearing for spirit today. You are on the path. Keep going. Keep going, my loves. <laughs> so as always, my love muffins, it is such an honor and a pleasure to read for you. All right. For you to allow me into your life to be a part of this journey with you. As always, I'm sending you so much love, so much light and so much peace. Go out at some point of the day. If it's later, don't worry. I already did it for you. <laughs> but go out and be in nature. Hug a tree for me and you. And I will catch you on my channel. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day weekend okay you know that i do the daily guidances monday through friday okay and i finally um <laughs> finished your pick a card reading you know um about how they feel about you i did that so like if you know there's a person that you're interested in you know what i'm saying like it's no communication or little communication you're just curious to pick their mind and just see how they really like vibing you Listen, I went in, honey. We got all the tea for that, okay? <laughs> so I love you guys so much. And, you know, during the weekend, I'm going to um, work on your monthly spiritual guidances. Look on, I, I don't want to say the weekend because we're not going to lie. But look out for that, um, you know, this upcoming week, like around this, the seventh week. 
the week, oh my God, October the 7th that week, because only thing is I just like to release all of them together. So I don't release them until all of them are done. You know what I'm saying? Cause <laughs> it's like trying to ask myself to like choose, like, you know, and I know it's like, you know, sometimes you can go by like whoever got the most views that month, you know, but like, no, nah, like for me, I just love all of you guys equally. Like you're my babies. So I don't like want to give some of my babies some things and don't give my others. So I just rather, you know, release it all at the same time. I'm, I'm that mom. <laughs> all right, guys, I love you so much and go have an amazing weekend. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Just to follow, she blazing. Uh, uh.